moving on to question set equation 10 so there is a curve c which has an equation this so we can clearly see that this is a reciprocal function now one intersection of c with the coordinate axis is at the point with coordinates this the asymptote parallel to the y-axis as equation this find the value of a and b all right so let's first read so let's first work with the in first information which is this so we can just substitute these co this coordinate into the equation of the curve so we get this equation equal zero so now we can just find out the value of a which is five uh, not five four so the value of a is four and now we can find out the value of b using the second information now the asymptote parallel to the y-axis they're talking about the horizontal asymptote so we can find the asymptote using a method which is equate the denominator to zero which is b minus x equals zero all right so b minus x equals zero now if we make x the subject we get the value of the horizontal asymptote so x equals b so b is the horizontal asymptote now we know that the horizontal asymptote is x equals three so the value of b is actually 3. So that's it for the first part. Now for the second part, we have to sketch c. All right, so let's first write down the equation of c, which is y equal 4x minus 5 over 3 minus x. So now we have to find out the asymptotes to sketch the equation. We, kn we already know the horizontal asymptote, which is x equals 3. Now we have to find out the vertical asymptote, which is y equals to something. Now, now if the powers of the x match, we can. there's a method, which is that in the numerator, the x has a coefficient of 4. You have to divide it by the numerator of this x which is negative 1 so we get y equals negative 4 so that's an asymptote and now we have to find out the points of intersection with the coordinate axis we already know one point they have given us which is 5 over 4 and 0 and we have to find out the coordinate of the y-intercept basically so let's first uh, draw the Cartesian plane, which is y, and this is the x-axis. Now let's first draw the asymptotes, which is x equals 3. Let's say that this is x equals 3. And the other one is y equals negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So let's say that this is y equals negative 4. Now we know that one intersection point with the coordinate axis is 5 over 4 and 0 which is one, two, so five over four is somewhere around this point. And we have to find out the other intersection axis, uh, intersection point with the axis. So uh, at y axis, the value of x will always be zero. So we can just replace x by zero 
in the equation. So y equals 0 minus 5 over 3 minus 0, which is negative 5 over 3. So that's one intersection point. So 0 and negative 5 over 3. So negative 5 over 3 is somewhere around, uh, let's say that it's in this point. So we know that one part of the curve will look like this, something like this. So the other part will look like this. And you have to indicate the intersection points, which is 5 over 4 and 0. And this is 0 and negative 5 over 3. So that's it for the sketching part. Now moving on to part C. Now the straight line L with intersection with the equation this has no points of intersection with with the curve. Now show using algebra that the range of possible values of k can be written as this. All right. So let's write this equation in y equal mx plus c format. So it will look something like this plus k over 4. All right. So now, uh, sorry. now for this part, let's assume that these two curves, uh, these two graphs intersect. Let's just assume that. So we can write this. Uh, we can equate these two equations, which is 7 over 4x plus k over 4 equals the equation of the curve, which is 4x minus 5 over three minus x four x minus five over three minus x so we can write this in this format now we can cross multiply so it's three minus x and seven x plus k equals 16x minus 20. Now let's expand this part. Right, so we have expanded this part now. If if this these two graphs does not intersect each other, solving this will give no values of x, right? So which means that there are no roots of this equation. So we can write this as b square minus four ac is less than zero. Now we have to solve this inequality is k minus 5 whole square minus 4 a and c So let's just simplify this equation. So after simplifying this equation or inequality, we get this. Now we just have to solve this. So uh, we get that first we have to equate this to 0 so that we can find out the critical values. So we get So we get k equals negative 9 and k equals negative 65. So now if we want to write this in the, if we want to find out the range of values of k, we get negative 65 is greater than k and k is less than negative 9. So that's it for 
Dankeschön, Dan.